Evening guys, hope you're doing well. So I'm going to join on the bandwagon here about peculiar pipes. Uh, if you've been following up the pipe week, uh, John Dale Piper uh, has been putting out some fantastic content where he kind of showcases his peculiar pipes. I don't really have any, as you can see the seven pipes on the rack, those are my you would say primarily primary rotation. I have maybe two or three other pipes and a few drawers that I don't really go for anymore. But these seven are what I kind of always go. This pipe I picked up, I believe, last month. It was a it's a state pipe that I managed to find in an antique shop in Edinburgh. And it's got some very unique features to it. One in particular. It is a red point, old briar. I've done so, some research uh, regarding red point, uh, quite an old brand. Can't remember exactly what year they initially started. As you can see, the stem is pretty oxidized and needs a good buff. Um, but it doesn't need a clean. Got some nice carvings on the front. See some some slight engraving. Can't really make out what it says. I'm not too sure exactly what this carving means, but it's quite a nice carving. Some good detail to it. As you can see, a few little marks here, but overall very good condition. Now, to hint towards the special part of this pipe, again, excuse my hands, a bit dirty. Um, just finished up uh, tomorrow's available pipe. But the, the unique feature of this is if you open up the wind cap, which again, very nice. Not too sure if it's sterling silver or not, but it does seem to potentially be silver. If you open it up, you look inside. For a start, it has the original tag, which you can take out, which I thought was quite, quite, quite a peculiar thing to find. It's got the original tag that came up with the pipe. But if you look inside, you probably can't see this too well on camera, but it is completely unsmoked. This is a new old stock pipe. I'm not too sure on date. Uh, that's part of the reason for doing this video. If anyone's got any experience with these kind of pipes, it would be great to hear your thoughts and opinions. If you have more knowledge, I'll be happy to send you photos uh, to try and date it. I would assume it's at least 30 or 40 years old, uh, if not significantly older. But again, yeah, I thought it was really, really good to see a pipe that's been unsmoked of this age, which you don't find very often. Uh, it's very rare these days to find pipes of really any age of 10, 20, 30 years plus, which are estate pipes that are unsmoked. And especially with the original tag, which I thought was quite smart. So yeah, let's say this is a red point old briar. If you have any idea of potentially the origins of this pipe, the year, the dating, it's quite a nice shape actually. Uh, I would say this is a proper kind of Impol Hungarian. Again, the wind cap, not sure if it's silver or not, or if it's just metal or a bit of brass, it's polished. But yeah, again, you probably can't see it too well on camera, maybe in certain angles, but yeah, it's completely unsmoked pipe, which, I'm, which I was quite excited about when I found it. So yeah, kind of, that's me kind of drawing in with that. It's not really, along the same lines as of other people's peculiar pipes. I just don't really own any um, that you would classify, but if if I were to own one, it would be this. Partly, partly because it's a new old stock pipe, which is, you don't see too often, especially of this age. Again, I'm very keen to give, this, give the stem a little sand and a buff to bring it back to life. 
to bring the cap out a, a, a good polish and kind of the whole pipe a good clean polish. I think it would look fantastic, which is on my list to do, which is quite long. But yeah, that's kind of my um, my addition to the peculiar pipes. Having said, Hoover takes care. You have a great weekend. Cheers.